I'm responding to a video I made called My New Haircut Doesn't Look As Short As The Picture I Showed. And I got a comment from SP saying, quote, just curious, why do you go to great mistakes slash clips? Are there real barber shops near you? I have also seen your home haircuts before and they are better. I am not a barber by trade, but I cut friends here. At the end of the day, if you like the cut, that is all that matters. I appreciate your videos. And quote, and then of course, an actual professional barber who has to hide in Germany because he's part of the witness protection program. They're doing a spin-off sitcom on him on Fox coming out this fall. Maxwell Smart had this to say, quote, the main thing is that you're happy with the result. You did ask for a comment. Uh, you showed the girl the picture and she cut your hair. It is nothing like the picture. It is a shorter version of what you had, had already. Unfortunately, the blend is in the, in, in the back is pretty bad, sorry. It looks like you have two haircuts that meet uh, at, the, at some kind of bone that I can't pronounce. One is shorter and the other is longer. From what I can see, even that is uneven with one area dropping down the other side. If you look at your own video, you'll see a dark line that traverses the middle of the back of your head. You probably, with the help of your wife, could, could do a better job. I apologize for my negative feedback. I'm just overly frustrated to see this unfinished haircut that you paid good money for. I see it all the time. Guys with crooked necklines, poor blends, and even uneven fades. I get guys coming in and asking, can you fix this? Uh, yeah, but you're not gonna like it. I know you go to great clips and I'm sure they are great with longer styles, but they are not great with short precision men's cutting. I had the hopes that since you wanted a crew cut with a tight fade, like the one in your picture, which is really not a crew cut, but close enough, that you would have tried a barber for a change this time. I'm sure that you would have received a better cut for your money. Are you afraid of barbers? Usually we don't bite. My rant is over. My head is shaking. My hands are up in the air. I give up, Max. Actually, the only th thing I would say is his hands in the air. See, we don't do hands in the air anymore. We do face palm. That's what we do. Okay, so with all that being said, I think this video is a prime example of why if you really want your hair to cut a certain way and your hair is shorter and you're going to be having clippers, I'm probably the perfect example of why you should go to a barber. So hopefully, Max, maybe I'm using reverse psychology, is that I'm trying to brainwash over 3,000 subscribers into thinking, you know what? Yeah, Nick makes a good point. If you want your hair cut right, just go to a barber. So there you go. Now, of course, if we want an answer on why I personally don't go to a barber, there are barbers around. And no one's gonna, no one's gonna like the reason I'm gonna give, okay? Because I know that arguably a barber might even be cheaper than what I pay. I paid, I'll tell you, in American dollars, I paid $14. And then I also tipped, I tipped $4. That's a, kind of about what I tipped for, because they, 14, I don't know what the percentage is, but I'm like, $4 seems about right. See, that's the thing. And if you keep reading the comments in that same video, you'll see the fact that, you know, ultimately you have to pay a tip like that's just the American you have to it's and that's the thing like who am I what do I know about haircuts right I just show them a picture they cut my hair it's shorter it doesn't look too weird to me and then ultimately I'm like okay so I guess I pay you four dollars now on top of what you just charged me because I don't know any like who am I to, to, to you know what let me look at the mirror let me look at the back What's Max going to think about the Oh, Max is going to notice how uneven it is. So, you know what? I was going to tip you $4, but now I'm going to, now I'm going to do just $2. Like, I guess that's probably what this video is really about. It's yes, you should go to a barber. And then also, how do you know what to tip when you, when you're not a professional? Like, I don't like pretty, here's the kind of person I am. Everybody gets a tip, like whatever the standard is. I don't know, like whether it's 15 or whatever percentage you're supposed to pay is what I pay. If I go to a restaurant, you're getting a tip. If I get my hair, you're getting a tip. See, that's, if you're in a nation other than America, that's a blessing you have because the, in American culture, it is, we're, it's obsessed with tipping for everything. 
So honestly, I don't do a lot of things that involve tipping. I can't get around it in haircuts until I start buzzing it off myself. But for me, I don't want to think about it. I'm not here to, to judge someone's service. Uh, how can I? I don't know anything about cutting hair. I, so I'm like, okay, here, here, here's your tip. Every time I'm like, okay, it's $14 and there's your $4 tip. Whatever percentage that is. Because even if it's higher than it should be, like, look, this is a true story. So the girl that cut my hair, never saw her before. So she tells me the story and I believe her. I have every reason to believe it's true. It, it would not change the $4 tip for the $14 haircut either way. Okay. And by the way, I'm an English major. That's my degree. Some of you who are smart, like on the other side of the spectrum, like with math, go ahead and tell me in the comment section, how much of a percentage tip did I give her? The haircut was $14. I tipped four. What's the percentage of that? I'm not number smart. I'm word smart. Okay. So put in the comments right there. All right. Uh, and for whoever can do it first gets bragging rights. All right. So the girl tells me as she's cutting my hair, you know, I asked some, she asked, you know, basic questions, which she reveals to me that, uh, she has two children already. She just moved back from Las Vegas or something. And she and her husband just separated. And now she just moved back here to Tennessee and surprise she's pregnant with her now estranged husband's child and like i'm one of the first people she's telling that she's she had a positive like uh pregnancy test i'm i'm just getting my hair cut and now i have this burden of knowing this like pretty much no one knows that she's pregnant like i'm like one of the first people that knows this she's like yeah tomorrow i'm gonna go to the doctor for the official checkup because I've just been leaving pregnancy tests around the, the house and then finally one came up positive. So yeah, I tipped her $4.